Hey, welcome to the Electronics channel. In this video, I am going to calculate the efficiency of this Class A amplifier. In this circuit, I have an AC source which is providing a 20 milliamp input current. And let's assume that this is a 20 milliamp peak current. And that 20 milliamp peak current at the input is going to generate a voltage across this 10 ohm load resistor. This 500 ohm resistor here is for biasing. The transistor we're using has a beta of 20 and the voltage that we're applying to the circuit is 12 volts. Now I want to calculate efficiency. Efficiency is going to be equal to the amount of power that is useful, so the amount of output power, and in this case that's going to be the power that's dissipated by this load resistor, divided by the power provided by the circuit, so that's what's provided by this 12 volt source, times 100%. The output power, the, volt, uh, the power dissipated by this resistance can be calculated in, in several ways, but we'll, let's use the current and then the, and the resistance value. So that's going to be IC RMS is the, is the uh, AC current that's going through that 10 ohm resistor that's squared times the RC value divided by the input power. And the input power is what's provided by this 12 volt source. So that's going to be the VCC times the current that that 12 volt source provides. And that's going to be approximately ICQ. Well, let's, let's ignore the, the current that's going, um, it, that's being used in this path here, because it's going to be considerably smaller than the current in this path. And of course, that's times 100%. Let's start by by looking at the input power and it's going to be all DC voltages and currents. In this particular circuit, we want to figure out what ICQ is. Well, we can figure out what ICQ is by first figuring out what IBQ is. The quiescent base current. The quiescent base current is going to be equal to the current through this 500 ohm resistor and the voltage across that 500 ohm resistor is going to be, well, we have 12 volts on this side and 0.7 volts on this side because of the base emitter voltage drop there. So we have 12 minus 0.7 over 500 ohms. And that gives a base current of 22.6 milliamps. The collector current is simply going to be the beta times IBQ. And beta in this case is 20 times the 22.6 milliamps gives me a collector current of 0 0.452 amps. I now have enough information to calculate the input power. Input power is the 12 volt source times the ICQ that is it produces, 0.452 amps, to give me an input power of 5.424 watts. Now let's look at the output power. Well, I have an input AC base current of 20 milliamps. That means my collector current, the AC portion of the collector current, is going to be 20 times that, beta times that, which makes 400 milliamps. The output power relies on this value. And again, remember, we're assuming this is a peak value. So the output power will be that converted into the RMS form squared times RC. So it's going to be 400 milliamps over root two to give me the RMS value squared times the 10 ohms of the load resistor. If I multiply all of that out, I get 0. 8 watts. Now I can take now I can take the input power and the output power, combine them together to calculate the efficiency. So I have 0.8 watts output power divided by 5.424 watts of input power. Multiply that by 100% to give me a percentage. And I calculate that my efficiency is 14.7%. Not very good. 
and less than the 25% maximum power efficiency you can get with these Class A BJT amplifiers. I hope that example helped your learning about Class A amplifiers, and thank you for watching.